welcome it's barbara from vienna austria so for those who are new here i've been running my own online shop for the past three years and today i have some exciting news to share with you so i've always wanted to offer physical products occasionally alongside my digital ones and despite some hurdles along the way i have finally tackled one of the biggest challenges and I'm ready to take a trial run with 10 unique products. Now, if you're not an online shop owner yourself, you might not be aware of everything that goes into offering physical products, especially when you have to handle everything on your own and have no help. So it starts with the idea in your head, then comes the creation of the products, taking captivating photos for your shop, writing detailed measurements and descriptions, the packaging, the pricing, the marketing, and perhaps the most daunting task, at least for me, the shipping. Setting up shipping rates for different countries based on package weight and size is no easy feat, especially when the information provided by the local post office isn't readily available. But I'm proud to say that I've reached a significant milestone. I've successfully set up shipping rates in my shop for most countries. So another thing that held me back from offering physical products in the past was the fear of packages getting lost in transit. It's heartbreaking to think of a handmade and unique creation, maybe a journal even, not reaching their intended destination. However, I've decided to take the plunge and overcome that fear. So without further ado, I am thrilled to announce my first collection of 10 unique products. Join me as I showcase them on my desk. Let's go. So some of you might remember seeing this journal jewelry here. I'm using it as a closure. And some of you have commented that you would love to purchase a closure like this. So it wraps around. So I just tie it in the front. This one is kind of long. So I just wrapped it around my cover. It's crocheted and it has a whole bunch of different beads on it. So I made 10 more of these. Each one is unique and I want to show those to you now. So this is what they look like all together. Never mind these notes. This is just the information I have to add to the shop with the measurements and everything. So let me show you these one by one. I am so excited. It is so different to offer physical products rather than digital products so they all have a bit of a different length this one is 88 centimeters or 34 and a half inches it has this beautiful skull here on one end on the other end we have this beautiful charm with frida most of these have a frida charm on them let me show you the beads. Here's a tiny little bell. I just love that. And I also just want to say that most of these beads are bought locally in bead shops or at craft fairs. So a lot of them were actually quite pricey. This is a handmade one by my friend Elaine. Just love it. And we have a cute little feather here. Some of these beans are from jewelry that I have taken apart. These are wooden beads, a little key here. A lot of these chains have shells on them as well. We have these adorable butterflies. And then we have the skull on the other side. So that's chain number one. Number two has a lot of purple beads. So they all have a little bit of a different color range and they feel so soft. On one end, we have a vintage button. This is from my mom. We have this adorable heart. 
So here we have lilac and purple colors. We have a scroll. These were a lot of fun to make. This is again a handmade bead by wonderful Elaine. They're so beautiful. So I don't think I'll be making any more of these anytime soon, if ever. A lot of these beads I don't have anymore. And there's again a Frida charm and a little bell here. <laughs> so once these are gone, they're gone. I cannot guarantee that I will ever be able to sell these again. So this was number two. And yes, I am planning on occasionally selling a journal. So this is number three. As you can see, it is blue. This one is one of the longer ones. It's 99 centimeters or 38 and a half inches. So again, we have the skull. We have a little bell. We have this cute star. This might be a Tim Holtz one, not totally sure. This is from Old Jewelry. This also came from some jewelry. Again, we have cute butterflies. We have a cute little shell here that's quite sparkly. Beautiful bead here. And again, we have Frida. So that was number three. And we have number four. This one has more neutral tones mixed with beautiful greens. On one end, we have a vintage button from my mom. All kinds of buttons. We have this seashell. Love these. These are just gorgeous. There's a key. Another shell. And we have these fun ones. I think this is the only chain that has these kind of... What are they? They're not beads. Well, you know what they are. <laughs> Another seashell. We have two butterflies. Also love these beads. They're just gorgeous. Look how they sparkle. We have this leaf. And another vintage button from my mom. So that was number four. For number five, we have a red one. This is the only red one and it's quite short. This one is 77 centimeters or 30 inches. So again, we have the skull, we have a little bell. We have beautiful beads, button, a really cute heart. <laughs> Another beautiful handmade bead. We have an ice skating shoe. More buttons. This is a handmade paper bead. A butterfly. An Alice in Wonderland charm and another button here. Number six is the only one I have with a beige twine. This is the longest one I have. It's 104 centimeters or 41 inches. Oops, one end has a beautiful pearl button. And we have a silver Frida charm here. We have a lot of soft pinks and lilacs. Again, vintage buttons. 
we have a cute little silver teddy bear charm. We have a charm here with a feather. There's this beautiful little bead here. We have a star. Again, I think this might be Tim Holtz. We have two butterflies. And on the end here, we have another pink butterfly. So that was number six. Number seven. Oh, this is one of my favorite as well, with a lot of light blue and turquoise. This one is 94 centimeters or 37 inches. We have this charm that says live, laugh, love on one end. We have our two butterflies. We have some gold, we have a shell. We have these gorgeous beads here. We have a fairy charm. We have this beautiful one. Another shell, beautiful leaf, another shell, and at the end here we have this cute little key charm. So that was number seven, number eight. This is again a shorter one, 80 centimeters or 32 inches. Again, we have the pink butterfly. We have the teddy bear. Another beautiful handmade bead. We have pink buttons. We have a little dog here. little turtle a bicycle our two little butterflies a little bell and a silver Frida charm Number nine is, ah, see, this also has beige, but a different kind of beige. This one is 92 centimeters or 32 inches. We have an oval Frida charm. We have a bell. We have a cute little, what are they called? They're not called sea star, are they? I forgot what these are called in English. Oh my goodness, but you see what it is. I will look it up afterwards. <laughs> we have this little card charm. Our two butterflies, a seashell, a little bird. Also love this little bead here. Another one of these stars. Lots of buttons, another playing card charm. A beautiful seashell. And on the other end, we have another beautiful handmade bead by my friend Elaine. And finally, number 10. This is again a shorter one with 88 centimeters or 34 and a half inches. If you purchase one of these, I would ask you not to tear on them because they are quite delicate, but I've been handling the one that I have on my traveler's notebook for a couple of years now and it's totally fine. So they don't break easily, but just don't yank on them too much. So again, we have the Golden Frida charm on one end with a little bell. We have our two butterflies. 
we have a cute little golden star we have our little fairy shells key vintage buttons another shell beautiful feather and a vintage button for my mom on the other end so you can see detailed photos of these in my shop you'll also see photos of how they look wrapped around a traveler's notebook like this but of course you can wrap it around any journal you don't even have to use it on a journal actually they're also really fun as a necklace or as a bracelet and the time I'll be putting this in my shop just to give more viewers a chance to get one of these. I'm not putting in the shop right when I'm posting the video because I just feel that's kind of unfair. So I'm putting these in my shop in two days, Thursday, August 17th at 6 p.m. Central European time. I will put that information in the description box below and I will put a link to a time converter so that you can see what time that is wherever you are located. So I'm hoping nothing will get lost in the mail. <laughs> Let's see how this trial run goes. I'm super nervous. I'm super excited, but let's just give this a try. <laughs> Love you guys.